Hello everyone, and welcome to Subnautica. So this is uh, this is going to be a new series. Um, I'm going to be checking out Subnautica, seeing some of the new updates. It's a, it's a funny thing. Oh, boy. oh, oh look, we make bubbles. Yeah, I'm going to be checking out some of the updates that um, that appear. I have played this game. Oh my gosh, that sound. I have played this game previously. As you can see, I've currently got a save file, but there's been updates, and I'm going to start a new one today. But before that, <laughs> let me just sort this sound down. Alright, I'm back. I uh, <laughs> had to sort the screen out there as well, for some reason it wasn't, uh, like, the, the actual window didn't fit in the recording software, for some reason, I don't know. Anyway, new game, here we go. Uh, now we can pick between uh, several different modes. We can have freedom, which is just... You know, basically like creative mode. Well, you can't fly around, but, you know, you, you don't need to uh, worry about a thirst or hunger. Uh, the survival mode, where, you know, it's regular. You have to eat, you have to drink to survive. Um, and, uh, by the way, all this was a way explained <laughs> when we get into game, or you'll, you'll see anyway. Um, so yeah, you have to eat and drink, um, you have to make sure your health is in check, although that's the same with freedom. And hardcore, if you die, you you die. That's that's the end. So we're gonna go for survival because it's kind of the um, the intermediate here. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have to make sure we eat and drink. But if we die, won't be too much of a deal. I mean, I'm hoping not to die, but <laughs> hopefully we won't. You know. So without further ado, come on, please load. <laughs> I think this, um, oh yeah, there we go, it's loading some of the assets, come on, I can hear the game, so yeah, the idea of this game is, um, oh yes, there we go, oh, do we have an intro Last cutscene, 22nd century, oh, here humanity is beginning to colonize space, before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions, the Aurora, was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. So there you go, there's your, there's your story. Um, if you didn't hear it... Uh, oh, we got a fragment analyzer. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, this... Uh, this life pod that we're currently in um, was, uh, I guess, an escape pod from that big ship over there, and that big ship was sent to terraform this world for, uh, I guess, human uh, human needs, uh, human empires expanding, I suppose, in the future. And yeah, um, it was hit by a pulse and it crashed, and here we are. <laughs> so yeah, um, oh yeah, I should mention. Uh, thank you, uh, little. Uh, box there, asking me to report the bugs. This is an uh, early access game. It's on Steam. Um, so yeah, there's uh, uh, you know, things may be broken here and there. There obviously isn't a full bill of features yet, because it's not done. Um, but it's it's very much playable uh, so far. We're getting a little bit of lag. Okay, we'll get some of these acid mushrooms. Um, they're, they're not as bad as they sound. <laughs> and uh, interestingly, you can actually eat them. If I go to, uh, uh, what is it? Is it I for inventory here? Or is it E? I don't know. I've completely forgotten. What, oh, is it tab? Yes, it's tab. Okay. Acid mushroom. You can eat them by just clicking on them. Now, an interesting thing about the inventories in this game is you can't stack things, and every item basically takes up a, its own little slot. You can see this piece of scrap metal I've got here. That's a really big item, so that takes up four slots, where there's these small mushrooms and this, you know, salt deposits and things. They only take up uh, one slot each. So, yeah, I can grab those mushrooms and I can eat those, which is, I mean, it's alright, but they don't give me much food. We can also grab fish. <laughs> Like so. I love the fish in this game. They're great, because obviously this is an alien planet. Um, so all the fish are kind of uh, weird alien fish. There's some... Uh, are they whole fish? I don't know. They're not 
actually like there. They're, they're a particle effect, but they, they look pretty cool. They're real. They are called peepers. How can I catch one? Yes, I can. Hello, peeper. Um, so, yeah, you can eat these, um, but it's not quite dead yet. Um, I'll, hang on a second. Let me see if I can... I think I'll have to cook it, won't I? To, uh, oh, no, there we go. Yeah, so analyze both the peeper and the boomerang. But yeah, what we can actually do is let these guys go. We can just, oop, there we go, right click them and uh, off they swim. So I thought that was a pretty nice feature, you know, just because you grab the fish doesn't mean it's dead. <laughs> so, yeah, for the moment we need to survive. Um, you can see, as I was talking, I was picking up a couple of things. Uh, we got these mushrooms, so we can eat those. Uh, we got some metal, so we can start building some things. Quartz is really useful for glass now. You used to be able to make glass out of sand, I think, but uh, it's uh, it's not that easy anymore. And we have this uh, this fabricator here. Now this is kind of like a crafting table, and that will um oh, we can make titanium there. Yeah, it, it's like this kind of molecular assembler thing, I guess. Uh, it can make anything, provided you've got the right elements. Uh, you can make pipes out of titanium. Now, but what I need is, and you'll see why in a minute, is a knife. Yes, titanium into silicon. Or silicone, sorry, not silicon. Uh, different things. Silicon's an element, silicone's a compound, which I believe includes silicon, but it's not the same. So, we need more quartz in that case. Uh, you do need a lot of quartz in this game, as I've uh, as I've found. Ooh, big coral tubes. Okay, yeah. So we can't actually pick those up. But yeah, what I need a knife for. Oh, limestone over there. What I need a knife for in this game is, well, among other things, I think that was, yeah, copper, is breaking these coral things here. These kind of you see these, they look like bracket fungus, but. The, uh, the bits that are stuck onto the coral tubes. We need fragments of coral so that we can sterilize water for us to drink, because otherwise uh, we're, we're not going to live very long, because obviously you can't drink seawater. Now there's some more uh, scrap metal here. <coughs> Sorry. Right, so... We have some... Uh, we have some salt. That's another thing we need. Um, Especially for cooking things. You need salt for cooking. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you need it for sterilizing water, although I'm not 100% sure. Another one of those guys. I'm not actually sure what they're called. Do they have a... No, they don't have like a tool tip or anything, so... They probably do have a name, but I I don't know what it is. They're kind of like um, rays or skates, aren't they? Ooh, <laughs> an air sack. I like these guys. Okay, so I'm going to take him. Ah, now this is this is interesting. This is like uh, brain coral or something, but it emits these these bubbles, so you can actually, you know, it's a bit like Sonic the Hedgehog, where you can kind of grab a bubble underwater and you'll uh, you'll recharge your oxygen. So very nice. Uh, now is there anything for me to grab down here? Oh, I see salt. Thank you. Oh, inventory's full. Okay then. Well, we'd better get back home before we. Uh, find anything else. We can find other stuff later. Uh, oh, is that? That's more metal, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Well, I'll come back to it. You can see there's bits scattered around. The metal's obviously bits of our ship that's crashed. Um, so, yeah, let's go back in here. And there's our uh, thingy. Oh, you can make can make uh, filtered water out of air sacks, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, but we need silicone, so two quarts. And then we can make ourselves a knife! And is there anything else we can make? I guess we can make some more titanium, because we need that. Uh, we can make magnesium from salt deposits. I'm guessing that's because it's some kind of magnesium salt. Uh, like a small storage cube. What I really want, though, is a tank. Is that a tool? Oh, no, it's equipment. So, 
There we go. It needs to turn you in glass. Okay. What well, can we make glass? I don't think we have the quartz for it. No. We need three quartz. Um. So yeah, let's uh, set this guy free. Where are you? There you go. Goodbye, Ersac. Um. So we can slash at these with with right click. We can slash at these coral tubes and just collect some uh, some of that coral stuff. And basically, we can go in here, and I'm going to bleach from, yes, salt deposit in coral chunk. And somehow, <laughs> the bleach enables us to purify, well obviously it lets us purify the, the salt water, but it also lets us, um, I, I guess it must somehow remove the salt. Oh, whoops, I, I didn't mean to drop that. Uh, give me that. I think you can middle mouse them over, right? Yes, you can. Oh, we have a compass. Excellent. So yeah, I don't know whether you noticed before, um, but I'm actually able to find the... Uh, whoops. I'll have to take that back in a minute. I'm actually able, able to uh, find this this little escape pod because there's a little... You see that flashy thing there? It's kind of pulsating. I, that's a beacon. I, I can basically see that from anywhere. Whoops. I keep, I keep running off. Top there. Come on, me in. There we go. So, um, we've got some water which we can start drinking in a minute if we need it. Uh, oh, have we? No, we've just got the bleach. Yes, yeah, so we need to make the water. Okay, so night time approaches. One interesting thing with this, another interesting thing, I suppose, is <laughs> full of interesting things, um, is that, you know, there are certain creatures that are nocturnal, certain creatures that are diurnal. You know, it, so, in essence, nasty things come out at night, <laughs> basically, in layman's terms. Oh yes, let's make let's make a battery. We'll probably need one of those at some point. I suppose we need something to work towards, um, other than just surviving. Oh yeah, we need that. Uh, we need that tank, don't we? So, whoops, I, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's look for some. We want we want the uh, the metal, don't we? The scrap metal. And drink that water. And we want quartz. And I think I see some over here. Ah. Oh. Oh, look at this. These are floaters. <laughs> and they, basically, they uh, they attach to rocks and such and make them float. How can I, I? Yeah, I can actually put this guy back on and make it make it float back up again. Oh yeah, quartz for days. Um, but they're interesting. You can you can make several different things float with those, and they're, they're quite funny. Now, what's this? Seamoth fragment. Excellent. I'll be taking that. Now I forgot about oxygen for a second. There, I don't want to die. Okay, that was a little bit close. I did not mean to spend that long under the water. Ooh, limestone chunk. So what's in here? Titanium. Excellent. Copper. Uh, more quartz over here, I believe. So yeah, we've we've got to be careful. But once we get a tank, uh, that will extend our, you know, our, our time that we can spend under the water by a good amount. Uh, which is why I'm so focused on on getting. Oh gosh, I think we should grab some of these acid mushrooms. Yum 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 yum. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I'm going to take quite a few of those. Uh, and hopefully that should fill us up at least temporarily. I don't feel much like catching fish at the moment. Uh, and I'd need to cook them anyway. So let's go here and... Om nom 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 nom. Just eat them all up. Very good. Uh, now this fragment analyzer, we can actually use it. I know this is kind of going off the track, but we can use it to analyze fragments. Now the sea moth is a miniature submersible uh, that we can actually create in this game. So by putting that in there I should be able to get how to build the sea moth. I'm not sure... oh yeah there we go. Is it in here somewhere? Not yet that I can see. But yeah these are the... I think these are the things we now have to make at the moment. 
uh, you'll see some more of those things later. But for now, yes, we're going to try and make a tank. Excellent, there we go, there's one. And we've got the achievement there. I don't know why I didn't get that before, because <laughs> I have got multiple ones of those before, but anyway. What else? How about a sea glide? Sea glide looks cool. Uh, I thought we made a power cell. We no, we made a battery. And what do we need to make a power cell? Is it in the tools? New? Is it in advanced? It is. Right, we need two batteries and a silicone. So let's make another silicone. Thankfully, we've got a good amount of quartz from down there. We need another battery, so we need three more acid mushrooms, which is no problem. Uh, one. Whoops, one, two, three. Okay, be right back. Alright, we're back, sorry about that. That was, uh, that was Nick contacting me on, uh, on Steam to film some more Pokemon, which I am going to do later on. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Pokemon series and you do like Pokemon, uh, you know, you might want to give that a check out. Uh, it's a Soul Link Nuzlocke thingy. So, if you know what that, what that means, then you know you might enjoy it. <laughs> if if you don't know what that means, it might be worth a check out. You might you might uh, find that you like it. Anyway, back to Subnautica. Uh, more quartz, more of this uh, scrap metal. That's the one. I remember to breathe. But since we do have our tank now. We're much better at kind of, uh, you know, staying below the water. We, we've got a lot longer basically to uh, to hang around. I think each one adds is it 40 seconds or not not seconds but 40 oxygen units. Uh, I think I think it's like that. Let me check. Uh, oh no, 30. 30 is it seconds? It is 30 seconds. Right. So yeah. Oh, of course, because, yeah, we had 40 oxygen to begin with, didn't we? Okay, I guess that's just our lung capacity. So we'll make a battery. And that will allow us to make a power cell. Thank you very much. And then, what, do, what else do I need for the sea glide? Uh, copper wire. So I need copper for that. Give me... Oh, I don't have any copper, do I? I think I must have used it all on the, uh, the battery. The, well, the batteries for the power cell, anyway. More uh, scrap metal doesn't hurt. Ah, here's what I want. Limestone chunk. Oh, that's titanium. We don't need that. We've got plenty of scrap metal that we can convert. Um, I see some salt. Don't want to pass up salt. Give me... There we go. So we need salt for food if we ever do catch fish and eat them. Uh, we've got some more... More limestone. Oh, titanium again. Quartz, though. Quartz is good. Gimme. I see of that. Remaining. Yes, thank you. I'll take a quick breather. Yes. Okay. Now, I need... I need to find... I need to find more of those limestone chunks. And... Oh, inventory's full. Okay. I guess I ought to go back to the... The, the the pod then, didn't I? I can't go far yet because well, obviously my inventory gets full very quickly. I bet there's unnecessary stuff we can chuck out though. So, swim, swim, swim. I don't think there's any kind of um, quick swim button. I would say sprint otherwise, but we're not running. We're not on land, so it doesn't really count. So let's convert these uh, these scrap metals into titanium. I think they'll take up less room that way anyway, like, they'll, they'll only take three spaces rather than four, because they give you three titanium each. New technology created. Yay! So that's that fragment analysed. And, oh yeah, we've, so we've done all the scrap metal. So now if we press tab and we click on blueprints, yes, there we go, Seamoth. And actually, we have all... Uh, we just need two glass and one copper to make. Okay, we're making the sea moth. We're not making the sea glide anymore. We're making the sea moth. So I'm gonna take that. And I'm gonna put all this stuff away. 
we probably will have to make a storage cube before this uh, before this episode is over maybe uh, oh yeah I meant to put more of this away whoops I need that and there we go so if we just eat up these mushrooms because we won't be needing those now oh yeah I wanted the glass Uh, let's make another one. Uh, now if I press tab again. Uh, oh! So enameled glass isn't the same thing as glass, I guess. Well, why is that, I wonder? And in that case, where did I get the other? Where, where did I get the enameled glass from? So we've got enameled glass and regular glass. Well, surely a pressure resistant window is better than a. just a window, anyway. <laughs> Um, let's make some more... Can we make, no, we need one more quartz to make more glass. Some more salt down here though, so I should be taking that. Thank you. And remember, we need to be on the lookout for copper as well. A thought has just struck me though. I think before we make the sea moth, we do need to make uh, the constructor. Which is a thing that lets you make things. <laughs> and it's not like the fabricator, it builds vehicles basically. It's got like this longer range system, which is a lot better suited to creating big things. Like, you can create the sea glide in the fabricator, but you can't create the sea moth in there. So, we might have to make that first, which may slow down our progress because it'll probably use up materials that we need for the sea moth, which is a shame. Let's grab some of that oxygen and see what's in these tunnels. Oh, yes, excellent. What the heck is that? A little glow in the dark shrimp. Silver! Well, that's useful. I'm not sure what those guys are, but you can't catch them. Yes, quartz. Um, yeah, I don't think they're hostile either, though. They just... Oh, I hear bad things. Like, literally right behind me. Uh, let's, let's swim over to this bubbly... Bubbly coral. Thank you. I'll have all your oxygen. An interesting thing about air sacs, as the name implies, you can actually eat them and you recover oxygen, I think. <laughs> if you eat them raw, at least. Uh, which is, I mean, I suppose it's a way to get oxygen if you're really desperate, but it's. I, I wouldn't condone it. <laughs> I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, just catching loads of air sacs and eating them. I'm not even sure whether that would be a viable option. I, it probably wouldn't. You would. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I suppose if you made a hole in it and just kind of sucked the air out. Uh, if you were, like, gagging for air underwater. I don't know. I've never been in such a situation, thankfully. Oh, more quartz. But we need copper. We've, we've found silver, but I'm, I'm not finding too many of those uh, limestone tricks. I see you hiding Warning. in there. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, all right. Let me get up here. Alright. Good, good, good. Let's go back down and... Come on. You know, you know I want those uh, limestone chunks. Oh. <laughs> See that thing down there that looks like an alien egg? They're called crashers and they are nasty. <laughs> they are very, very nasty. There's more titanium or scrap metal down there, but I'm going to leave it. Yeah, they... They jump out of their little nests and basically walk up to you and explode. They are the creepers of the subnautica world. So stay away from those if you don't want to get blown up. There's more floaters there, floating their rocks around. I have no idea why they do that. Oh yes, I see some stuff. Seamouth fragment again. I, I don't know why I'm making that up, but eh. Let's see we just, oh, copper, good. You see we just got um, achievement no narcosis. For diving 40 meters. Um, what else? Is there any? Is there any more? I'm just hanging around over the top of this coral. Come on, give me more oxygen. I need it. Yeah. Are there any more uh, chunks? Limestone chunks? No. I see more quartz. Thank you. Uh, more quartz? Man, we're getting minted on quartz here, aren't we? Oh, that slid down there. That's odd. 
what disturb oh yeah they're nasty as well they hide in the sand those things oh another sea moth fragment well whatever I'll keep it these are also nasty uh, so I'm gonna stay away from those guys well I they're not um, they don't want to eat me but they get a little bit scared Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen those remaining. guys so I'm gonna leave those <laughs> I'm gonna leave those alone for now take a breather go back down and we'll see if we can find some more of those limestone chunks I'm sorry like it's with all survival games the first episode is always gathering resources and not much gets done and uh, stuff like that but yeah, I mean it, Subnautica is this kind of very beautiful world uh, even even though it's not finished even though it's not kind of the the most high fidelity graphics I've ever seen. It's the art design in it is pretty spectacular. Even though you know it's stylized, so it's not super realistic. Um, it, it's a very very pretty game. There's a lot of thought gone into the kind of probably concept art and all the uh, all the different species and plants. Um, so. What else? Is there is there any more? So I want I want to get a substantial amount of materials so that you know potentially we can go back and build the constructor and then build the sea moth. Uh, we're looking a little bit low on air, so I'm going to go back up and breathe. Okay. Um. Another one down here. Oh yes, more copper. Excellent. That is exactly what we need. And the bubbles. I'm not sure if this is the one we've been to before or not. I feel like I would have spotted a lot of these things if it was. More quartz. And um Ah. Excellent. Yeah, the problem here, you can see, well, you, you should have seen one just then, over there. Stalkers. I think they're called stalkers. They like to... Ooh, is that gold? Yeah, they like to hang around here, so you have to be... Warning, There's one! Oh, gosh. Watch out. Okay, I think that was some gold. But yeah, these are kind of like big shark things, and they like to pick up... <laughs> bits of the scrap metal and transport it elsewhere. So that they're a bit annoying, aren't they? But, um... Can we find that gold? I just... I think it was gold. Yeah, they, they don't seem too... too intent on, like... hurt... well, they're intent on hurting me, but they don't seem very good at it. And they kind of give up if I put up any kind of... I suppose, attempted retreat. Oh gosh, we need to chuck something out. Uh, let's get rid of salt. We don't need salt that much. Ah, oh, that is gold, yes. Yeah, I think they are called stalkers. Um, so yeah, we've got a good amount of materials. Let's make it back to the escape pod, life pod thing. And then we can make our sea moth. Oh, I see one more. <laughs> Just before we get back, what it, what's in here? Now that looks like, yeah, that's copper, isn't it? So let's get let's get rid of one of these seamoth fragments because I don't think we actually need them anymore. Given that we've got um, we've got the blueprint for the seamoth, uh, I guess I could try putting them in the fragment analyzer and see what happens. But uh, I'll I'll leave them. Oops. Okay, so here we are back. Um, we don't have anywhere to put anything. Although I am going to drink this water, uh, and I do need, I do need to eat something, kind of desperately. But we'll get to that in a minute. So first off, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we need, we needed copper wire, didn't we? Ah, there we go. Two copper, no problem. And uh, we need what do we need? 
Actually, I want to try something first. If we press tab and we click on blueprints, and oh right, yeah, so we can't craft the the sea moth. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Right, I I want I'm to open here. Now, what do I need to make a titanium ingot? Because that thing, I don't know whether you saw it. The it said to make a constructor, I need titanium. Or it's a titanium ingots, as opposed to just raw titanium. So, oh dear. Be right back again. Alright, looks like I'd better finish up this episode before anyone else tries to call me or whatever. Um, <laughs> in the middle of me recording. I don't know. There ought to be a thing on Steam that lets people know that you're doing something and you don't want to be disturbed while you're in-game. Because otherwise it just says in-game. Um, yeah, so we need... Throwing me off track. We need a constructor. So we need a titanium ingot. So is this in advanced? It is. Right. So you need ten. Okay then. Ten titanium or titanium or tongtanium or whatever. I don't know. I don't see why you need ten. I don't know how small these pieces of titanium are. So now we can create the constructor. Excellent. And we simply go outside and Boop. We drop it, and there it is. Oh, wow. It's got little drones. They are so cool. Right. Okay. Oh, they, they're a bit noisy, I have to say. Right, hang on a second. Let me... No. Stop it. Stop. Right, I'm going to pick that up. Shut up. Oh, that's bugged. Okay, thing is, I wanted the, the constructor to face this way. There we go. Because, well, when you see how the constructor works, you'll see that I didn't want it... Well, that, that pod, basically, that life pod, was in the way. Uh, I'm going to grab some more of this quartz. I see some more over there, but I can't be bothered to grab it right now. We've got to build this seam off. Oh, the noise. Okay. Right, tell me what I need for my, uh, my seam off. Vehicles. Three titanium, one power cell, and two glass. Alright, off we go. Oh dear. We need food! We need food, damn it! Okay, let me eat all of these. I know we'll need some probably for a power cell, but I'll just grab a ton of these. This is, uh, you know, temporary. We'll be able to get some better food at some point. But for the moment, we'll just have to eat up all the acid mushrooms. <laughs> Oh, we got some sand over there. I don't really need that. Uh, that's silver. Where'd the sand go? Am I just being blind? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can't collect sand anymore. It wouldn't surprise me. You used to be able to collect it as an item, at least. Oh, hello, Peeper. Okay. If I just eat these, I just, I uh, come back, come back. So fast. Come back! Oh, no, he's away. Okay. I think he was stuck, but I dislodged him. Alrighty. I think we've got enough mushrooms now. I could go for that air sac, but they're not that nutritious. Let's make two batteries. And we'll make a new power cell. I need... right, silicone. One silicone. And now we can make a power cell. And what do we also need? We need... three titanium and two glass. So let's make that glass. How much do we have at the moment? Oh, we have two now, okay. And... Our titanium we can get from in here. One, two, three. And out we go to our constructor. Here it is. I did put it a little bit of a way away from the... Oh, that's... It's so weird, that sound. Wait, why did I just fall off? Come on. Stand where you're supposed to stand, man. Come on. It's, it's easy. Right, yes. 
Let's build the sub the 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 Seamoth submarine. Yes, we can see it constructed in the air. Um, <laughs> I think if I'd have had it facing where it was before, it might have dropped it on top of the escape pod. Okay. Hello, Seamoth. So yeah, here we go. Little miniature submersible. Gives me oxygen in here and uh, allows me to move around more quickly than obviously by swimming. Oh, but we have to be careful because you can bash it on things. Uh, I've already managed to get rid of 9% health. Wow. Yeah, it is a little bit uh, squishy, as one might say. It doesn't have an extended inventory, which is a bit of a shame. I, th I feel like that's a... I don't know what that was. I feel like that's a place that it... it or a thing that it could have, a fish bashing, uh, you know, to, to help you gather more stuff, but ah, it's it's good enough as it is, it's a pretty cool little submarine, it's got a light, it lets you go pretty deep without having to cut for air, so yeah, I like it. But yeah, we'll play with it more next episode, because I think we're about at that, uh, that finishing up point, so Thank you very much for watching the first episode of... That sound is still there. Thank you very much for watching the first episode of Subnautica, guys. Um, remember uh, to leave a like if you like the episode um, and <laughs> you want more of the series. Uh, subscribe also if you want to keep up to date with episodes that come out. And uh, leave a comment telling me what you thought. So, thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you next time.